What is up, y'all? We are back with another video. It's me, Koru, and we are going to talk about the law of cause and effect. And uh, this is in our Kaibalian series. Um, only a couple more of these to go. Um, and let's just go ahead and jump right in. Every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. Everything happens according to law, and chance is but a name for a law not recognized. There are many planes of causation, but nothing escapes the law. This is the law of cause and effect. According to the law of cause and effect, there is absolutely no such thing as chance. There is literally no chance at all. There's no such thing as luck. Everything is always happening according to law. And like we said with the law of rhythm, once something goes to one side, it has to go back to the other. And you could, this is kind of where, as I keep saying, the laws beget the next law kind of where it's like, you know, with rhythm, we are establishing, yeah, these things move from side to side and there's this flow, right? But the fact that one thing came to this one side means that this effect is going to happen on the other side. And so we get this like deeper layer of the law of cause and effect. And it's sometimes kind of hard to, I have, I have absolutely zero belief in anything about chance or luck that I think they're absolutely, there's nothing real about them. If we cannot understand why something is happening, then we attribute it to chance, luck, randomness, um, or sometimes if we can't understand why something's happening, we get very distraught because perhaps it might be enlightening to know why something happened. But um, the point of the law is that everything has a chain of cause going back through infinity. Everything past and present is all according to the law of cause and effect. There's just absolutely nothing about it. The all was the originator. Again, hard to fathom, practically impossible, but the all is the beginning and therefore the end. Um, and nothing, nothing has ever happened that's outside of the law of the will of the all. And every time, every tiny thing, every, every tiny thing ever, my hat is here. We could trace it back to the fibers where they got it and then trace those plants or those animals back to when they were born and trace that lineage back to the seeds and the parents of everything back until we go back through the eons and look at every tiny cause and effect of everything all the way back there. Perhaps there was a Stone Age couple who, because they met, that means that I'm here. That means that you're here listening to me as well. And that's the reason why um, computers got invented. Who knows? But, you know, if you follow everything back, there is a cause to absolutely everything. And it's a thread. And it continues f all throughout our past, into our present, and all the way through our future on the other side. And that being said... Every thought that we have and every action we perform are direct and indirect results of this great chain of cause and effect, which is also very important because, again, physical things, of course, but also mental and emotional and all of these other vibrational um, waves that we exist in, these are all bound by cause and effect as well. And so we kind of have to talk about free will as well because if you start thinking about it if everything's a cause and effect then that does that mean that even my thoughts are the effect of a cause and technically yes but then we start diving into well does that mean that it's my thought do i have control over my thoughts do i have control over my emotions do i have control over anything in my life is there no free will is there is that even is everything just happening because um, you know, the all is emanating everything in this, so this is all just here. Um, and of course, the hermeticist answer would be, um, that is not true. And that is also true at the same time, <laughs> because all paradoxes can be reconciled. Um, all truths are half truths. Um, so yes and no. And of course, there are myriads of different stories and ideologies, philosophies, on free will and whether or not we have free will. Some people are very, very adamant about it. Some people have never thought about it, but um, there is a small section in the Kybalion, um I was just reviewing where they talk about um, free will and how, um, of course, the more you collect your power of will, the more your free will would get. And there was also this kind of thing where if you consider the all to be like the center, 
and it expands outward into everything it would almost be like the way that they mentioned it was the further you get from the center uh the less free will you have the more determined it would be and the more you get to the center the freer you would be take that with what you will um i've heard um old egyptian mythologies talking about that's why the planets exist is basically to cover these cycles and these rhythms and basically affect the seasons and the changings and the rhythms which create the cause and effect and that um if you got into a place of mastery um higher higher learning higher will more willpower higher energetic um energy then you could ascend like the kybalion continues to talk about to a higher plane of consciousness where you would have free will you would have much more of a free will as opposed to being um you know stuck in the river washing down wherever it chooses to go which is what most people do most people are slaves to hereditary culture environment they're swayed every which way um think of anything on the news maybe think of he said she said something this or that think of if it gets dark in the winter time think of if it's you know any any you know somebody says this says that somebody does this does that that creates this kind of chain reaction and so most people are swaying way more than they would consider um and of course even if uh you know i say that maybe most people would say well what are you talking about i do what i want um and you know i'll act however i please right um but what makes you want have you ever thought about that why do you want what you want is there a cause between uh your desires maybe there's a reason why you want something in particular or um you know maybe there's a reason why you that something is pleasing to you and not to something else um but the master gets to he he is the will of the will he he can change his wants or his pleases in those scenarios into whatever polarity is necessary or that he desires because they're masters of ascending above the these natural laws of causality and rhythm and polarity and all of them <laughs> and can um, change things according to will and according to law into whatever needs to be changed and um so that's something to think about just just how granular your determination slash free will is and i as a personal aside i have no solidified feelings about the general overarching idea of free will because i've thought about it quite a bit and there have definitely been times where it feels like life i've i've gotten to a point where i've observed these chains between things and stuff happening and to be honest, there is so much of it that feels like it's almost just out of your hands, like it's just happening, and you can just watch. Um, and it it's difficult to know. It's difficult to know. And um, anyways, besides my personal side, I don't I don't want to get too bogged down because I was like feeling myself sliding in to go into a huge foray there. Um, but don't be a pawn. Most people are pawns, and. Um, considering that you might be a pawn or you might be swayed to a particular side or ideal or in any direction for any reason other than because it is part of your will um just just think about that maybe think about that throughout your day or throughout um whenever whenever you can be mindful of it um but again to be a master is to fall in with the higher laws again the higher laws the higher planes um, but if you do ascend into this higher plane, it would almost be as if you were in service on that plane, right? But you would almost be as a ruler on the material plane. So it's like to serve in this plane is to be a ruler on the plane below it. And then that could transfer into the next plane because nothing escapes the laws. There are higher laws that govern the lower laws and to, and to ascend past these lower laws, you still have to fall into the higher laws because while we are bound by these physical laws and there's more to the universe than this physical world it still happens by cause and effect and even outside of that there is still cause and effect happening on a different type a differently an, an entirely different 
realm, an entirely different level of the sphere of manifestation. Um, higher laws rule the lower laws. These higher planes rule the lower planes. So it's kind of a, in a sense, <laughs> there's there's kind of this idea of, well, uh, do all this work and get to this higher plane. Um, and sure, now I rule on the lower plane. Now I rule over the material world, but now I'm in service to this higher plane, which, you know, kind of funny for, for um, maybe uh, an unenlightened ego thinking about it that way. But um, of course, service is the highest, um, the highest possible act you could ever do. So nothing wrong with service. <laughs> what is freedom? Um, anyway, that's the law of cause and effect. So um, with that, we are going to move along to our very next video coming out next, the law of gender. And then that'll be all seven laws. Like I said, we'll do a recap. Then we're going to splice them together. We're going to make one huge video. You can watch all of it all the way through a big, a big Kybalian review. And then um, can't wait to make some more videos after this. Um, this has been a huge I've been I've been super busy. There's been a huge undertaking doing all these, but um, it's been really rewarding overall. And um, partially, I want to do it also because if you ever want to learn something really well, one of the best ways to learn it is to teach. And trying to teach these, there are certain things that have like really started to click and make sense as I've been going over the material. So, hey, there there's a law of cause and effect that I was trying to employ myself. You want to learn more? You want to learn deeper? Teach teaching causes learning <laughs> in yourself and others apparently so anyways hope y'all are doing well uh remember um you're you're in control you can use your will you can master these laws you can get to a higher plane and you can be in control of your life and um the universe is awesome anyways love you guys peace